The ramps also must be placed to fit the narrow width of the tractor. The right-hand ramp is approximately three inches lower than the left, so that a plank must be tied on the top of the right ramp to keep the tractor level. Note that two short ramps are used for this job. The air compressor's first job is to cut off the raised lips of the bomb craters. This is done by an air-operated tool called a paving breaker, fitted with a chisel point. The air-operated tampers compact the loose earth in the bottom of the crater, while the bulldozers push back material thrown out of the crater by the explosion. The right front wheel runs on the right-hand ramp, while the left front wheel is chained to the greater frame. The ramps also must be placed to fit the narrow width of the tractor. The right-hand ramp is approximately three inches lower than the left, so that a plank must be tied on the top of the right ramp to keep the tractor level. Note that two short ramps are used for this job. The air compressor's first job is to cut off the raised lips of the bomb craters. This is done by an air-operated tool called a paving breaker, fitted with a chisel point. The air-operated tampers compact the loose earth in the bottom of the crater, while the bulldozers push back material thrown out of the crater by the explosion. In order to fill the crater, some dirt must be borrowed. This is best done by the toad scraper. Note that the scraper must be pushed to get the maximum load. The best way to eliminate a crater is for the bulldozer to make a road across it as soon as possible. Then the earth moving equipment can cross it. The earth can be placed exactly where it is wanted and the fill can be compacted from the bottom upward by the weight of passing equipment as the hole is filled. Anti-aircraft security spots an enemy plane. The men take cover.
work is resumed as soon as the immediate danger is passed. For compaction, a sheep's foot roller can be used as shown, or by removing the feet, it may be used as a smooth roller. The advantage of using a sheep's foot roller is that it contacts the surface from the bottom upward. Compaction with loaded roller is approximately 175 pounds per square inch. The grater can be used to level the top surface. Although for a small crater such as this one, hand labor is sufficient. This is an asphalt repair unit weighing 1,100 pounds empty. Its capacity is 110 gallons and is equipped with a motor-driven spray. Its heating system can burn kerosene or gasoline. The asphalt, RC2, is applied in three coats of about one-half gallon per square yard each coat. The temperature of the asphalt when applied should be 120 degrees Fahrenheit. After the application of the asphalt, the pulvy mixer moves in. The pulvy mixer has a number of rotary tines which mix each coat to any desired depth up to eight inches. In this case, it is mixing three inches deep. It is operated from a power takeoff on the rear of the wheel tractor. The pulvy mixer may be used to mix a stockpile of surfacing material by a windrowing process. When no pulvy mixer is available, the asphalt may be mixed in place by the tractor-drawn grader, or a temporary surface can be provided by using the same materials for a single or double surface treatment. The final surface is kneaded and compacted by running rubber-tired equipment over it. The airborne engineers have completed their assignment and are ready to take off on another mission. The speed with which this landing field was repaired was due primarily to the proper methods used in loading, unloading, and the placing in actual operation of airborne aviation engineer equipment.